Hey crafty people, how are you doing today? I have a crazy mashup collective haul. I have some stuff from a thrift store. I have stuff from Target, Home Goods, um, Michaels. This is over a course of the past month. Um, I went into Home Goods and um, I found this adorable My Melody mug. And it was $4.99, a little expensive for my taste in mugs, but I mean, it's pink inside. Look guys, it's like the prettiest, like dusty pink. And I love like the little grid design that they have on here and there's strawberries and it's not too loud. It's kind of like a soft subdued design. And uh, I just, I had to get it. I just, there was no like thinking. I just like, I have to get this. So I did. Of course, I, oh, I know why I was there. I was shopping for a gift for my sister's birthday and my niece's birthday. And I try not to buy anything for myself when I'm birthday shopping, but it always seems to happen. There it is. Okay, I think this one is from Marshalls. It's this beautiful mushroom mug. I've been really good, guys. I haven't been buying tons of mugs. I've been like controlling myself, so. But when you find like the perfect mug, let me take this clearance sticker off without ripping it. I mean, this is just beautiful. Look at it. It's got mushrooms. It's got all this good stuff on it. And it's baby blue. And it has, like, ridges on it so you can, like, hold it without it, like, slipping out of your hands. I don't know if you can see that in the picture. There you go. There are the ridges. And it's a good size. I love the colors. It's very vibrant. And this is by Clementine. It's from 2023. It's a nice, good size. I was going to give that to my godson for his birthday, but I think it's too girly. I mean, there's too many flowers and butterflies on it. So I think I'm going to keep that one, too. <laughs> I'll tell the hubby I got it for him. Um, and it's blue, so. Uh, so the Home Goods uh, My Melody is by Sanrio. So it's an authentic Sanrio. It's not a knockoff. Anyways, okay. So that's it for the mugs. Oh, actually, I'm lying. I have one more mug, but I'll show that towards the end. And that's for a gift. I found this ribbon for Halloween. I was on clearance. It was originally $5.99. Can you believe that? And I picked it up for $3. And this supposedly was made in India. But um, I just thought it was so pretty. It's like this. Do I really want to open this right now? I really don't want to open this right now because I don't want to rip it. And I don't know if I'll be able to find the opening. If I can find it within seconds of telling you this story, I will open it. But anyways, it's like jelly jack-o'-lanterns that are neon orange. Look at that. I don't think I've seen anybody haul this, and it's just like a garland of unlimited jack-o'-lanterns. It's so pretty, I had to get it. And it has 10 yards, so it's a really good deal. And then I picked up this um, perfume. It's Viva La Juicy by uh, Juicy Couture. And um, it's perfume, perfume spray. And this was originally like $30 and I picked it up for $12. And this is what I bought for my sister's birthday. She loves perfume. And um, I just thought it was a good deal. And I did smell it. It smells pretty good. And I also got a gift receipt in case she wanted to return it. So I got that. This is from Marshalls. So if you're looking for it, there's the tag. Um, I also picked up these really cute Hello Kitty napkins. Let's say Merry Christmas. And you get 40. These are beverage napkins. And they were not on sale, but they were only $2.99. At Target, I found this really cool gingerbread house. It's a jar. And it's so cool. It's all clear. But it has all the details of a gingerbread house on it. I don't know if you can see it. There. And the top comes off. So I was thinking this would be perfect to like put hot cocoa in with marshmallows and you could see through it. You could either put packets in here or you could just put the powder. And it the top comes off. 
So it's really cool. It was only $5, and I feel like this is something you can use year after year. It's kind of like, you know, a understated piece, or it's not like screaming all the colors of the gingerbread house, but it kind of like, like the contents that you put inside of it makes it pop. So there's the front, and there's the roof. It's quite heavy. It's not too big, but it's not too small. And it's a nice, like, weighted material, so it's not like, you know, it's nice and thick, so it's not gonna, like, fall apart. These napkins, these were from Home Goods, and these were on clearance for $2. Let me see if I can pick off the label. I don't think I can, but I'm pretty sure it was like probably like $5.99 or something like that. But I got these really cool haunted house Halloween napkins. And these are 40. And I thought these would be great to like craft with. So also at Marshall's, I picked up this uh for my niece's birthday because her birthday is at the same time as my sister's, basically. And I missed the birthday event um, because I was just there the weekend before. So I did get them presents to make up for it. So I got this for my niece who's constantly coloring her hair. It's repairing conditioner for damaged overprocessor. <laughs> and it's by Giovanni, which is a really good hair company. And it's made from, it's made with blackberry and coconut milk. And it's vegan and cruelty free. And there's no harmful sulfates, parabens, or anything like that, or mineral oil. So it was, it says compare for $8, and it was four fifty. dollars So it's very heavy, and I'm sure she'll appreciate that because she's always either ironing her hair or coloring it. You know, she's in her tw early, tw she just turned 21, so she's going to need that. At Target, I picked up this cute little plush deer. thought it was really cute to kind of just put like I guess like in the living room or in the kitchen in the background by the cocoa area I don't have a cocoa bar but I have counters so um I don't really do the whole territory thing although I would like to I'm just being realistic here five below I got this neon Halloween bat light basically it's like one of those cool like neon lights and it lights up supposedly this is this lights up purple and this lights up white it's battery operated and it was 50 percent off when i picked it up so it was only two dollars and fifty cents and it was originally five dollars oh it also comes with like a little jump ring thing here so you can hang it on a nail so i picked up that um I also picked up these little bats. These are like the bats you can stick on your wall. Um, they were only a dollar and you get 30 of them and they're like this thick plastic. So if you wanna decorate your wall for next year, um, I thought a dollar was a good deal. And they're not gonna rip or fade because they're that thick plastic. Why don't I do my thrift store finds now? So I found these really cool Scott placemats. Um, they're two ply, and this is like really, really old. And this was two ninety nine, and I got them for the big daisies on there. I just think they're so cool, and I was thinking of using this in like a junk journal. So this is really old. Let's see if there's a date on here. Nineteen sixty six, guys. Yeah, so. So I just thought it was, I love the avocado and the orange and um, yeah, super excited to find that. And then I found this old recollections or celebrate it by Michaels. It was on sale at Michaels for $2.49 clearance, but they charged me $2.99 at the Goodwill for it. But still it's, it's a good deal because you get these really sturdy, and then and the package was like all busted like this too. So you get all these doilies. Let's see. It was originally $8, so it's a good deal. So all the doilies are, only a couple are like 
folded, but not all the way, so you can just easily press those out. And they come with the holes in them so you can tie the twine through them to put over the top, like a bag topper, over the top of these bags. So you get these really like 10 times thicker than regular lunch bags. And then you put the doily on the top, you match up the holes, you fold it, you tie your pretty twine through it, and it comes with these really pretty tags. And then you can like gift them in happy mail or if you're having a party. So I thought that was really cool. Um, and inexpensive, you know, and you can't find these anymore. These are, I haven't seen anything like this in the stores, like a whole set for $2.99. Everything costs so much money now. So that's why I like going thrifting You find a lot of good deals. I picked up this really cute vintage bag. Um, it's stained, but it's still really cool and it's beautiful. It has satin on the inside. It's really old. And um, this is the inside. It's very beautiful. And then it's satin like silk, I believe, lace around the edges. And then it's a purse and I got this when I went to Boston with my sister and her husband. We went to go see a show and um, I just love this. It's, it's so pretty and I was thinking maybe on the stain I could maybe add another piece of fabric and sew over that to cover the stain. I'm pretty sure it's probably from this chain that it came with but it's just a little bag. And originally they were selling it in this really cool store um, called V brand, I think, or Vantage. It's called Vantage, that's it. And this was originally $30 inside the store and it was on sale for $5. They had like a whole like section of $5 clearance items outside of the store. And my sister and I went crazy and she bought this for me. So. I love the embroidery of the rose on here. It's beautiful. And I love all the details of this vintage. It's like, I, I believe somebody made it out of two handkerchiefs back in the day. Not, I don't think they did that recently. And I just think it's so beautiful. It's so dainty and feminine. I picked up these super cool um, skeleton doilies for 70% off of $4.99. I thought those are really cool, um, cool to like bake with or not bake with. It's for baking actually, but you know, you can use it in crafting. You can cut these up and you get 12 pieces. Okay. Also from Michael's, I got these cool resin little doodads for 70% off of $5.99. And I just thought they were really pretty. And these don't only have to be for Halloween, but they are very pretty. They're like these little like... They look like tombstones, but then they have like these whimsical, like Mysteria, myst mystical little gold pictures on them. So I thought those were really pretty. And then I, um, what else did I get from Michaels? I picked up this uh, glitter and it has chunky glitter in it and fine glitter and then it has these really cool gold bats in the last vial with little black bats mixed together and I don't have anything like that so I thought that would be cute to craft with for Halloween and this was 70% off $5.99 let's see um, I also picked up these barrettes um, looks like one of them fell apart, but I can fix that. We've got these really cool glow in the dark. Um, yeah, this one detached, but I can re glue that. They're like little clips with like glow in the dark hands on them. And these were uh, originally $6.99 and they were 70 off, so a little under $3 for those. For Christmas, I picked up these treat bags. They're snow globes. I just thought they were really, really cool. And these were 40 off, um, 40 off 3.99. And I got two packs because 
I thought these are perfect to gift any small item in without wrapping it, um, including like candy and treats for kids. And then I picked up these little topper decorations. These were all on sale. They're little toothpicks. You can use that in craft paper crafting as well as the candy ones, which I thought were really fun. And I think, oh, and then I picked up this paper pad. I saw a bunch of people hauling it and I, I ran out yesterday and I had to get it. I called ahead. It's called the Retro Christmas Noel Retro. It's got all these cute papers in it. Um, like all these like cute little... Retro uh, papers and bright colors of modern things in them like jemmies. And it has washi tape. A bunch of people have hauled this so... Um, I think the one that I saw the first haul this was Craft Purge, Tony. And um, yeah, I had to go out and grab that. So I picked that one up and it does come with uh, 420 pieces. So basically you get like two of each design and there's about eight or so designs of the scrapbook paper. And it's pretty good quality paper too. It's nice and thick. So, I just picked up one of those. Oh, a Dollar Tree. I found this super, super cute little... This is from the Dollar Tree Plus section. It was on an end cap, and I just thought it was so freaking cute. You take out these little blocks for each day of the month of December, and it tells you how many days are left till Christmas. It's a little stand, and that's what it looks like from the side. And I just love that little deer. And look at the little bird with the ear muffs. It's so adorable. And I love how the deer is peeking out behind that little bush um, coming out of the stocking. Isn't that just so precious? This was only $3, which I think is a really good deal. Um, and I just think this would just be a classic to take out every year. And I picked up these little Santa stickers. Which I don't know if I'm really crazy about these. I might exchange them. I don't know. I just grabbed them just in case. I have to go through my Christmas stuff and see if I have anything like that because if I don't need them, I will bring them back. And then I picked up this really cool wrapping paper that I saw. Uh, what's her name? Crafty Chick, I think her name is, or Crafty Girl. She has a YouTube channel, and she showed this in her video, and it's this really cute vintage Santa on here. And it's really long, and I just love it. She showed a bunch of different paper, but this is one that stood out, and it has grid lines on it. It's recyclable, and I just love that Santa on here. It's so cute. See, it's like that Santa, that vintage Santa face. So I'm in love with that. I just grabbed um, this mug to do like a teacher cocoa gift. And I also picked up this gingy bag to store Christmas stuff in to easily find it. So I don't have to go digging through my stuff. Um, this is from Target. It's only a couple bucks, I believe. And then I grabbed some, oh, I have one more thing from Dollar Tree. I picked up this uh, lip gloss. This is by Drew Barrymore's makeup line. By uh, It's called Flower. This was at Dollar Tree. And um, I got it because Sweet Crafty Girl found it. And I would have never known to look for it if it wasn't for her. Not Sweet Crafty Girl. It's just Crafty Girl, I believe. So you can't really see it, but it's a really pretty color pink at the Dollar Tree. I hope you guys have a great weekend and thanks for hanging in there with me and waiting for the next video and watching it and commenting and liking. I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.